Aha, welcome back everybody. I am the Dependent Fanatic and today I want to be talking about uh, Michigan's long life history of dealing with outside forces trying to take them down. Michigan has always been at the center of innovation throughout history of college football. Uh, they won the first ever Rose Bowl 55-0 over Stanford and no one wanted to play for like the next 13 years. And then Michigan went back and won again. And then uh, there were rules in the Big Ten that said, you know, Michigan couldn't go back. <laughs> you, you had to alternate these things. So it's always been a struggle uh, versus this winning as program in history. The first ever Heisman should have gone to Tom Harmon. But because he was a junior, he didn't win. Uh, he won his senior year, but now we have uh, redshirt sophomores winning the Heisman. So things innovate uh, throughout history because of Michigan, and here's another one. The first national championship game was because Michigan and Nebraska both went undefeated in 1997. The AP had Michigan, and the coaches' poll had Nebraska uh, in the respective polls. That's how we named national championships. Uh, you know, these polls had to all agree to have a unanimous uh, champion. And because Michigan and Nebraska, two powers, uh, should have played in the game, and everyone thought so, bam, next year, rule change. There was a national championship game. Now, Jim Harbaugh is going to take down the bureaucracy uh, in favor of the players and the coaches, and no one understands this. It's going to be innovative. There are going to be rule changes. There are going to be a different structure. Is the NCAA less powerful after all of this, which they should be because they are not in favor of giving the players everything they deserve, nor the coaches that work under them. So, Jim Harbaugh is doing the best he can here in this aspect. Uh, you know, people have been against Michigan for decades. Why would that be? Could it be because Michigan has the most wins all time? Uh, because Michigan has the number two winning percentage of all time, right behind Alabama and just ahead of Notre Dame now. Or is it because Michigan truly is the leaders and the best, and everyone is jealous of that fact? Is, is that what this all is? It, it really reminds me of that. People are jealous. Of course, there was the spot versus Ohio State as well. Ohio State is the darlings of the Big Ten and always has been since they joined. Michigan had a chance to leapfrog Ohio State in 2016, but that bad spot cost us a couple of years of rebuilding after the dark age that was, you know, the latter years of Lloyd Carr and the Rich Rod and Brady Hoke era. Uh, and the, you know, Mich uh, Jim Harbaugh could have came right in in year two. I really believe they could have won that national championship if that spot was correct. And how much different would the trajectory have been? Now that Michigan is on top again, everyone has their pitchforks and torches out. We threw everything at this program. Why won't they just die? <laughs> we're here. We're here and we're going to stay here. And I love that Santa Ono, the president, the new president, is taking on the new Big Ten commissioner and saying, hey, we haven't done anything wrong. Prove it. Uh, you know, or at least tell us what you think we did wrong and we will respond. So this guy, you know, I think he has a good uh, background in being a president at, the universe, at a different university, and I think he has law school uh, history as well. I, don't quote me on that, but that's what someone said to me. Santa Ono is a guy, Ward Manuel is just sitting aside, and Harbaugh is like, bring, bring it on everybody, I didn't do anything wrong. 
I have a great program here that I have built. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this thing all plays out. But Michigan is always at the center of all of these issues. We need a win for once. <laughs> we need a win for once, especially in this national championship season run that we are on this year. So like the video. If you guys are all for the University of Michigan, if you like what I just said, hit that like button down below and uh, subscribe. I know, I know a lot of you guys are watching, like 300 returning uh, watchers every week. I see the analytics. So just push that subscribe button. Uh, and then you get, then you can push the bell for notifications so you know when my next video is, right when it comes out. Uh, and uh, go blue. Have a great day out there, everybody. Tomorrow night will be uh, my picks for the season uh, for this week, week 11. Uh, we got Penn State this week, and I already did a video on that too, uh, which I will put up in the cards. And uh, but you know, there's other games Ohio State, Michigan State that should be a blowout. So I'm gonna pick all them games, all the top 25 basically, and uh. Fresno State, I snuck them in there too, so stay tuned for that video. Thank you, everybody, and have a great night.